Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to format number and date using VBA. Let's go to Visual Basic and we select a shape that we want to insert the cube. Okay, always start from giving a name. Simply give a name and we use a random dummy to store values, date or numbers. So let's say a is equal to one, and I'm going to use message box to show the formatted numbers. So remember, if let's say we would like to use message box to receive response, then we put bracket. Otherwise, if let's say we just want to show without receiving any response, then we do not put the bracket. So we have format. What we want to format, we want to format this value. Let's say A, and the format we should type here. If let's say we would like to make sure we have three digit numbers, then we have to put, okay, the quotation mark, always start with quotation marks because we want to show as string or text. So we have zero, zero, and hashtag. This is to ensure that we will definitely get three digits. So if let's say we have only single digit, then in replace, we will get two zero in front. Okay, let's run and see the result. So we have zero zero one here. So if let's say without this format, we remove the format and we simply A and run. So we will get only the number. So let's say we would like to have two digits, then we will have one zero in front, so zero one. If let's say we have numbers that has seated two digits, then we don't have to worry because we will get back the value that we have here. One, two, three, four. So if let's say 12, and then we would like to have three digits. So zero, one, two. How if let's say we would like to fix the number of decimal places? So if let's say we have a number here, so we use hashtag, then dot. Dot is to represent decimal number. Okay, we can have zero at the back. So if let's say we would like to have four decimal places so we have to add three zero at the back so run and save so we have 12 point then followed by four zeros and let's say this is 0 0.5 what happened as we can see the zero in front is missing and we have only the four decimal places at the back so what we have to do here is instead of using hashtag we put zero run then correct so how let's say we have 12.5 will the 12 become zero no will still be 12.5 but followed by four decimal places how let's say we have more than four decimal places then the system will help it to round to four decimal places as we can see rounded become Five. Next, how let's say we would like to add comma to every thousand unit. For example, we have one thousand two hundred here, and we would like to insert a comma in between one and two. So what we do here is we put any number. Any number means a hashtag, then followed by comma and three hashtag behind so run so we have comma in between so same if let's say we would like to have every thousand unit so add then run so we will have the correct format how let's say we just have 1200 will it be affected if we use so many that's so many commas here so not affected 
So how about say just only 12? Also not affected. So this format will be applicable if and only if we have the correct numbers. Let's change a negative number into a bracket form. So what we have to do here is we use hashtag to represent this number and we use semicolon to write the correct format that we want. So we want to have this number if negative in bracket form. So that's number bracket. Okay, then we check out. So in bracket form, how let's say we have decimal number, for example, 12.1, 1, negative 12.1. So we have 12 only. This is because we don't instruct Excel to leave the decimal number. So we have to make sure we have decimal places. As we can see, if we would like to have two decimal places, we can put zero at the last digit. So run, so we have two decimal places. Next, let's try how to convert a decimal number to a fraction. Let's take a simple decimal number and a simple fraction, let's say 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 in fraction form is one over two. We can also try the same method, see whether this is workable. So we remove 0 and remove bracket, change dot to fraction, then we run. Unfortunately, this method is not applicable here. So what we have to do here is make use of the application function. Then we call the worksheet function and call the text function. So we convert the text according to the format that we want here, which is in fraction form. Then we run. So it's already converted to fraction. How let's say we have 0 0.75. So 3 over 4. Okay, let's say we have 0 0.125. 125. So 1 over 8. How if let's say we have more decimal places? Maybe we have 0 0.123. There should be 1, 2, 3 over 1000. As we can see, this is actually being rounded to the nearest single digit for both the numerator and the denominator. So when we press calculator, this will approximately equal to the value here. But that is not the value that we want. This is because we use only a single digit. So what we have to do here is to be safe, we put more hashtag. So run. Okay, not accurate as well. So we add another one. So four digits now. So we have the correct values to write fraction. Next, let's convert the number to a percentage form. So without using application function, we just use the normal method to convert. So we have the number, this is in decimal form, so we can make use of the decimal. And then we convert to percentage form. So this will give us only one decimal places. If we need more, then we just add zero behind. So let's try and see. So this is only one decimal. So how let's say we would like to have two decimal places. So we add zero at the back. So two decimal places. After learning formatting a number, now let's learn how to format a date. Okay, so we convert to now. Then the format here, if let's say we just want to have date without time, we can make use of the number, the collector D. Okay, let's say we have a single D, what happened? So 24, which is today's date. Then we have 2D, also today's 
day. Then three, we have Saturday in short form. Then four, Saturday in full form. Then we add an another D. So run, we have the whole date with the date, month, and year. So add another one. We have the date, Saturday, and also the date. So add another one. It's actually repeated, so this is not useful. So we don't want, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 60 to get a long date. Okay, how let's say we want to have the times as well. So hour, minute, and second. So last run. So we have this time, hour, minutes, and second. How let's say we want AM or PM. So if you want the date to be presented in small letter form, then we use small letter AM. Remember, we have to put slash PM as well to let the system to choose whether this is AM morning or PM night or afternoon. So if let's say we just put AM, what happened? So this is actually wrong, incorrect. So we change to AM or PM. Now we run. So this will in the correct format, which is in small letter. So we want to have capital letter, then we just change to a capital letter form. So we run, so this way will be in capital form. Then everything formatted in the correct manner. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.